like Native American dead moccasins. Yeah. So they and it, but it like helped them walk quietly. It was about walking quietly. I think it was also about foot protection, but I thought part of it was that it was like because of how soft they were, it helped like cushion and layer. Yeah, yeah. So it was like for hunting and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So the, a croc is. That's the exact. Croc bad shoe for hunting. Even though you have real tree camo, real tree. I fucking cut my mouth. Makes it hard to say certain words. Real tree. Like I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> like I'm saw, sorry. I can't do it. I saw. I saw. <laughs> the thing about the woman, like, I mean, like whenever someone like you see like like fake like movie dirty texting, where someone's like, when a woman's like, how would you how would you fuck me if I was there? It's like poor vaginally. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, regular style. <laughs> Oh, the American way, honey. The three positions, and then I'd go to bed, and we'd probably only get to two. Yeah, three. What is this? I'd come quickly baseball? and fall asleep even quicker. And you'd be mad about it. Yeah. And I get it. I get it. You have a reason to be mad, but also I have a reason to go to sleep. I'm tired. I came. And I came? Are you kidding me? I, both? Real, I real came. Mm-hmm. And you didn't. I assume every woman has faked it. So every time they... Have an orgasm, quote unquote. I'm like, nice try, honey. I don't believe it. Yeah, you. okay. <laughs> let, me see, let me see your papers. I always pull a little Oscar award I have. Like, oh, cool, yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah, here you go, man. Thanks for massaging my fragile male ego. Here you fucking go, Meryl Streep. Jesus no, Christ. What is it? I, I'm the miserables with this fucking act that you're doing in the bedroom. <laughs> Listen, if you, if you don't want men to feel so good about themselves, yeah. even if you do come, pretend you didn't. That's the move. Thinking like you didn't have an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Keep going. I didn't feel shit yet. To left. To left. Lefter. To the left of the middle. Freddy Soto's mm -hmm. dad faking not Freddy's, having an orgasm. Yeah. It's a lot of layers. And look. It's winter. Fucking layer up. It it's isn't. But maybe you're listening to this in winter. It'd be fun if you were listening to it in the winter. Just by itself, would it be fun? Yeah. If you were listening to our podcast. If, if it's the winter. Right now, you're listening to this. Hi. First How of all, you? thank you so much. Which winter? Is it the nuclear winter? Oh, the winter of our discontent. The wi Or is it the actual winter? Mm, in terms of the seasons. Seasons change. No, oh. that's good enough. That is enough. I don't want to get uh, taken down by copyright laws. Copyright laws. Because you're, hey, you're, if I you're right anything. Hey, if I copy it right, uh, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> if I copy it wrong. Hey, so you copy it wrong law. <laughs> <laughs> what's the issue, buddy? I can't copy right? Oh, all of a sudden I can't, I can't make an exact copy of your thing? Oh, plagiarism is wrong? Oh, marron. Marron. How did I didn't graduate college then? These tits are real. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, hey, come here, listen. <laughs> hey, come, listen. <laughs> you not you don't ever listen to me. <laughs> so as I was saying, mm -hmm. copyright, but Copy W copyright. R I G H T is in the brothers. Copyright. No one else can make a plane. Mm -hmm. well, isn't that beautiful? And, let me see. Wait, no, 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 wait. Let me see if that's beautiful. Shit. Oh, shit. Let me think. You you gave me the, the proposition. I gave you like a proposition? Prop, like a prop plane. Mm-hmm. Isn't that... Baby, I'm right. No, no, wait, wait. Isn't that... I'm going to entertain the listeners what okay. you think. Isn't Baby, that I'm right. beautiful? Maybe I'm wrong. Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Just fucking... I got stung! Yeah. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Why am I holding this bee? Why am I holding this bee? Why am I a bee holder? I should have that smoke. <laughs> a beekeeper, not a bee holder. <laughs> yeah, it's all weed in there. And that bee, that bee thing. That's funny. I guess all the bees high, the bees and they high. go, man, I'm gonna eat this fucking honey, bro. Actually, what I do is I do that. I go into the beehive with, with that smoker, it's, but it's Palo Santo. It's Palo Santo, yeah. It's so sandalwood. It's, it's, it's all the bad, I get a, rid of the bad vibes. It's, it's sage. It's, it's sage. I sage the bees to get rid of any it bad vibes. It them. <laughs> I go, there seems to be a lot of tension in regards to a queen in here. We're all the same. Hey, everyone is equal, except 
the some are better. There should be no hierarchy when it comes to making the I, the gooey sweetness, which is cum. I think it's nice that you guys are in a uh, polyamorous relationship. Uh, again. Polyamorous queen. Chuck's staring at himself with a reflection. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I do like that bees are polyamorous. What is honey? Is it? It's just something they make. It's not cum. It's not cum. No, okay. it's a byproduct. It's like mm. milk. So they're they're all gay and straight. <laughs> it's a byproduct. I'll tell you, it's a byproduct. HBO Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a funny bit. I'll tell you I what. like this. I got, I got a real oh, let's couple. Go to couple. Let's go to couple. Okay, okay. I got a byproduct for you. Sleeveless t-shirts. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, I got a byproduct for you. Backwards hat if you're mm -hmm. a woman. Yeah, uh-huh. I Okay. Hmm. Mm. I got... I got a byproduct... Product for you. High top sneakers with little taller socks and little shorts. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got a byproduct for you. Pants. Mm -hmm. Pretty that, good. Pretty good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was byproduct corner. I got a byproduct for you. Taylor Swift. Oh, by Queen. Uh, oh, 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 the Dakota Johnson's Green Kitchen, apparently. Yeah. Or Dakota Fanning. Is it Dakota Johnson? Johnson? Dakota Fanning is a little girl who's an adult now, but Dakota Johnson's the one from Fifty Shades of Grey. Who was the one who... More like... Her? Yeah, get it, get it. What the fuck, man? No, 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 I got this. Oh, okay, all right. Fifty yeah. Shades of Grey, more like a couple shades of green in mm, her kitchen. In her kitchen that has carpeting. Okay. Um, okay, wait. Fifty Shades of Grey, more like I want to have sex with her. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. No, I have not Awful. seen it. I have not seen any movie. Who would have guessed? Bad. I've never seen a movie. You've never seen a movie? Mm -mm. Interesting. We just watched one. Were you not paying attention? I watched it like this. That doesn't count. Okay, was I watching it? Was I paying attention? No, but do you ever pay attention? Here's your experience of living with Michael Bruce. I pay attention. Choosing... I pay. Can I say this? Yeah. Go ahead. I pay attention to the pussy. That's right. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Wait, living wait. with Michael okay, Bruce. Wait, wait, wait. Let's say first of all. Yeah. Be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Can I ask me, you, you, you be nice? Between me and you. Yeah. Can you do me a kindness? Yeah. <laughs> can you be nice? All right. Yeah, yeah. Can you so, be nice? So living with Michael Bruce. <laughs> Is him saying no to every suggestion uh -huh. you, uh, you make in terms of what TV show or movie to watch, mm -hmm. and then you let him pick something, and then he looks at his phone the entire time. Okay, but sometimes I don't look at my phone. It depends on the movie. Okay. I didn't really look at my phone during Kramer vs. Kramer. No, I did. Mm -hmm. No, I did. But it's a reason. It's just funny. I, I don't like it's it. funny. Because you have uh, You picked a movie today. I did, but you weren't in the room when I picked it. And then I watched it without any complaints. I think... Did I complain once? Not with the movie. Yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> we're not talking about the. I'm In not, general, I'm the not royal saying, you. I'm not saying uh, putting on a movie stops me from complaining. No, that's fair. That's true. But I didn't complain about the movie you picked. No, we had a great time. We'll talk about that a little. I had seen it already. Yeah. Um, what's a living? What's, what's a living with Diego Lopez experience? Like, we have to be fair. Okay. So. And can I ask you? Did get on me. <laughs> okay. No, 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 well, okay. No, please don't, please don't. Okay. Well, I hope you don't have to use the bathroom at any time when you're showering, because you go in there for I would say a Martin Scorsese amount of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Care. Sure. Um. What's What's living with Diego? You. Because the thing is that you do your dishes, mm -hmm. but you use a lot of them, and then you clean them. And I think it's very, like, when you make breakfast, you're like, what if I have nine dishes? Uh -huh. And it's always, like, to me, it's crazy because that's what, like, a commercial. Oh, yeah, I love a commercial. That's what a commercial yeah, yeah, yeah. breakfast. To, to me, a breakfast is one thing. Oh, no, no, Because no. I'm making it. Yeah. But you, you're like, okay, what if I have a little bit of oatmeal? Mm -hmm. And then also, what if I have some yogurt? And then, like, another hot thing. Yeah. And then, like, one to two cups of liquid. Sure. And I'm like, look at him. I like it. Because, yeah, because if you do that, then you have to clean it all up. Which I'm fine. At, but to me, I'm like, what the f Ah, oh, I, gotta I see, do, I see, I see. I gotta do all of it. Yeah. And then I gotta finish doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's shocking. Yeah. 
So I like I like the oatmeal. I like the orange cup with yogurt and nuts. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have a little one of those little breakfast hot pocket thingies. Yeah. I have iced coffee. Iced coffee. And I have a glass of water. Some water. There you go. Yeah. And the second I'm done eating, I get up and wash it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, oh no. I, I don't have, have to complain about that. No. I'm just saying if I if I sit there for too long, I'll won't do it. I know I and I know that. Okay, so you have I to I have to do it. Yeah, 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 me too. I either have yeah, I have to clean everything or it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. That's what being an adult is. It's just knowing that you suck mm -hmm. and then just deal working around it. Or going through it so hard yeah, that yeah. it becomes part of your personality. And people are like, that's what the thing that he does. Yeah. Oh, Mike's rude, but he's also not a very attentive friend. Yeah. That's like when anytime I worked at a new restaurant, my first two or three days, my goal was just to be weird. Okay. Enough that when I was weird later, then just they'd be like, oh, that's just how he is. Yeah, he's just a weird guy. He's a weird guy. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't come to the meetings. He's a weird guy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck going to a meeting. Dude, are you paying me to come here? No, oh. no, I'm not coming to this. Oh. Especially not that. Especially because every single restaurant meeting I've ever been to could have been an email. Yeah. It's just for them to feel like they did something. What it would what is the restaurant I mean, I didn't work in a restaurant that had like meetings. Because so, we didn't have like a Well there's there's two types of meetings. There's like before service meetings, which those are higher end restaurants, which I didn't do that many of. But I did have yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that. And those are like what no, am I yeah. using to be that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. No. Uh, the chef will tell you some things about what the menu is yeah, and what we, we're short on in the six. We blah, blah, blah. had some cooks. Yeah. We didn't have any chefs. Right, right, right. We had some um, cooks. But then certainly this, uh, quarterly or so, you'd be like, let's meet at this place at like 9 a.m. And we're going to talk about what the restaurant needs to do. And like, no. 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 -uh. You're not going to listen to my suggestion. If you would, I'd be a manager. I'm barely an employee. I'm, a more, I'm, I'm almost more like, servers are more like independent contractors. Yeah. You don't pay me, really. The, the customer pays me. You give me a space you let to me. get paid. I'm like a barber shop. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would never go to those. And then literally, they'd be like, that's just Diego. It's just what Diego does. It's crazy how many things I got away with just because I'm Diego. Yeah. I'm weird Dude. and funny and silly. Dude. Yeah. I mean, we're the kings of that. Literally my whole life. Yeah, that's what we do. It's called charisma, baby. It's called borderline personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to... And the wall is not up. Yeah, no. Yeah, I am I have borderline personality disorder, but it's like Donald Trump's border, where like it's... They keep talking about it, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really exist, and then it did, but then like a bunch of wind knocked it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, there's, 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 there's places that have a little bit of wall. Mm -hmm. Like, in photo ops. Yeah, it's good for a photo op. Mm-hmm. Baby, I'm right. Baby, I'm wrong. I just heard. I don't know if you heard about this. Tell me. Donald Trump. Mm hmm. President. Whoa. The United States. Wow. The, these United States? These United States. Oh, honey. I mean, the one. Certainly has been for a while. Huh. I gotta pay attention to the. I think it's been. What's that on the news? It's, it's uh, somewhere. Somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere. Um, yeah. I don't like the news. I like the olds. That's what I call reruns of Looney Tunes. Mm -hmm. I watch that. <laughs> I like to watch that. I like, put on the olds. I like, put on the, the, the Barbara Seville. I like that Ooh. one. Singing. Yeah. It's funny that they had they drew cartoons in black and white. Like it, yeah. <laughs> they be like, what's the point? Why would I use color? It's, They're gonna show. Yeah. It's not as uh, expensive. Probably, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure less yeah. is less exp less variety of color. Yeah, that's why. Like I know, in like in black and white horror films, I think they just use chocolate syrup or something for yeah. the blood. Yeah, yeah. And because uh, it's like, oh, it's gonna show dark it's gonna either show way. Who gives a shit? Um, like do blackface? Who cares? It's yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. It's gonna show light anyway. They're like, wait, what? And by black and white horror films, I mean Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead. Oh, we could do two for Movie Pass Corner, I just realized. Want to do it? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey! Move, 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 movie Pass, pass corner. corner. Strap in, bitch. Bop, uh, light up some popcorn and turn on a Coke. That's a roller coaster go-go. Oh. 
And we're Red in the movie fast forward. Red Robin. Red Robins. Um, so we watched two films. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Huckleberry. Hung. <laughs> What's it's a big dick. Uh, oh, he's hung? I don't know. Hudsucker Proxy? Hudsucker, yeah, I was also thinking of. Uh, I don't know. Do you, do you see his dick in uh, no. Star Trek Redemption? He's naked in it. You can't did. see his penis. Oh, people are naked a lot of places. Well, man. you haven't seen Star Trek Redemption. Oh, all the way through. Okay. What percentage of the movie do you think you've seen? 70. All right. Yeah. Um, Thank you, TNT. TNT. TBS, whatever one plays it. Yeah, it's only on this. Uh, anyway. What was so we watched... What was the second thing? 28 Days Later. We watched 28. Let's talk about that first. Ladies and gentlemen, 28 Days Later. Ladies and gentlemen. 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. Killian Murphy in 28 Days Later. Um, Ladies and gentlemen. The band you came to see. 28 days later. Zombie sucked in my penis. So, uh, I saw it once years ago. Yeah. Uh, good memories of it. Like, it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. uh, the rewatch reminded me how, how how poor quality the footage is. Like, how, how, how like low quality the... Whatever. I think it's a two-fold thing. I think, number one, I think whatever copy we were watching... Mm. was not good but number two i think it looked bad in general yeah like that's kind of like, like a blair witch kind of thing where it's like yeah either danny boyle was like oh my first movie i'm gonna find a lot of money let's fucking yeah. crack this out or it's just like it, it's an aesthetic choice and i think it works uh kelly murphy's in it. that wasn't his first movie though i don't know i don't give a shit um that's post train spotting for sure oh good point i always forget he did that yes, my did. apologies did. So Danny, Boyle. Danny Boyle. Danny Boyle. The, Danny the Boyle. crack pipes are calling. The cinemas are full of people. And um, I'm an unbelievable Irish folk singer. I yeah, think. I think so too. They don't say the word zombie in the movie. No, because they're infected with rage. Well, they got rage. Hey, buddy. He, d me too. Mm, look at that. I was born with it. I was infected with it. I was born with, a, with the rage. I was infected with a certain type of rage called the Italian blood. <laughs> that's boiling at all times. I'm infected with the rage of uh, attacking white males. What? No. Um, good movie. I love it. It was a lot better than... I like, even remember like watching like, this no, is really, really good. good. It's just the right amount of sad, scary... weeks later is bad. Oh, the germ... Uh, what's his name? Not Jeremy Piven. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Renner. Uh, Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Renner is in it. Good for him. I'll rewatch it. I thought I liked it. I think I saw it and I hated it. Interesting. Yeah, I can see how you'd hate it. Yeah. It's a movie. It's a movie. Um, Most sequels I don't like. That really depends. Okay. Horror, um, I don't know. You know what? I, I say everything I'm saying I'm wrong about. No, no. I think you have a point, but then there's, like, uh, there's a lot exceptions. Of, yeah. Um, but 20 Days Later, very fun. The guy who plays Frank... Who is the barber in uh, Gangs of New York? Mm -hmm. He's great. He's really that great. guy's great. He's really great. Everything I've ever seen him in, I'm like, I fucking love this it's guy. It's like, man, it sucks that you're kind of fat and ugly. Yeah, but because you're very charming and you're very, very good charming, actor. charismatic, good actor. Um, I guess that's the life of a character actor. And the guy who uh, who plays the leader of the army thing is mm -hmm. he old Greg? I don't know. He always reminds me of the guy who plays old Greg, but I don't think it is. I don't know what that is. You know what old Greg is? No, people would reference it around me all the time. And you never watched it because you would reference it? No, I would just go like, yeah, I saw that. That's funny. I'd just like laugh. Do you want to watch it? It's short. No. You never you don't want to watch it? No, now I've taken a stance. <laughs> see, this is the thing about you so funny. I took a stance now. I take a stance, I'm not going to see it. What if it's your favorite thing? I bet you it won't be. I bet it won't be either. But it's Then part why of, watch it? Because it's part of the cultural lexicon. I, I, if I would have went, oh, I don't know. We could, you would have just believed I saw it. Yeah, but then you wouldn't have riffed or anything with it. But I'm not riffing now. <laughs> yeah, because you haven't seen it. Yeah, well, all right, listen. Just say, hey, you're this. I'm old Greg. I'm old, I'm old Greg. Look at that, ladies I and gentlemen. I know that one. I know that. There you go, that's People it. People would say that. Yeah, exactly. Is it like a sketch? It's a sketch in some weird British show. Hi. I know. Come on. I know, but it was very famous. Okay, I believe you. The guy. Yeah. I thought it was from a like a um, the Mighty Boosh. It is. Oh, okay then. Yeah, yeah, the Mighty Boosh. That's what it's called. Okay then. 
Yeah, I didn't see that either, but... Yeah, but, but I know enough people that liked it, I just assumed it was that. It is, so okay. you're right. Okay, look at that. I don't, I don't need to see it. I, I don't think you need to see it, I'm just saying... The context clues... To have... No, 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 The no, context stop. clues stop. are there. Are they or are they not there? Yes, because you're very intelligent. Thank you. But I think that you, the, it's funny to put a stand on uh, something that you've never seen. Uh-huh. It and it's is annoying funny. Because I know it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> you admit it's funny. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, no, what you say? You're gonna say something about my personality that's bad. <laughs> it's impossible. Um, but he's good too. No, you're gonna say something rude about me. What was it? No, it wasn't. What were you gonna say? That's you're impossible. No, but before that, um, I put a something. Oh, you love to like make hard stances on something you don't know anything about. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's called being racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all racist against the um, old I, I, Hey, I'm racist Greg. See, it's not racist Mike. No, no. Because that wouldn't be a character. Wouldn't be a character. Just figure out. Yeah. Um, but 20 years later, fucking good. You didn't really like it. Check it out. S good? Well, where would you rank it among zombie movies? Um, For you. Top. I see. I, I don't know. I, if I say top five, that's like huge. Huge, I think. Okay. It's somewhere in the top five, top ten. Okay. So definitely top ten. Uh huh. Could be top five. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna throw in a top five. I can't really think of anything. So I like. So I love the original Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Um, I love Evil Dead. Yeah. Is that a zombie movie? Yeah. That, that, okay. So, uh, yeah. No, that's more of a re re resurrection. But yeah. it's kind of zombies. Those are zombies. Un the undead is inherently zombies. Okay. So yes, let's say that. I'd say so. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. So I think Dawn of the Dead, the, the original, original Dawn of the Dead. not the remake. Not the, the remake, remake is, is it's pretty good still. I like right? it, but yeah, it's yeah. not. But the original is like is great. Phenomenal. It's phenomenal. So. Um. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead, original Night of the Living Dead, Shaun of the Dead. Agreed. I really like Shaun of the Dead a so lot. So good. Um, I see, I don't know if I like Shaun, if I would put. <clears throat> hey, my list right now, I'm putting 20 Days Later right there. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to think about putting it above or below Shaun of the Dead. Because I like it, a, I like them both a lot. But I think Shaun of the Dead is uh, entirely more rewatchable. Yes, and that, to me, in, in, it has some merit. Yeah. What's another one that I like? I feel like there's one I'm missing that's really good. Hmm. Because there's like, because like 20 Days Later, they have like the really fast zombies. Yeah. Which I think kind of, not ruins it, but the, I think the thing about zombies is kind of cool that they're like, they're sl there's a lot of them, but they're slow. Yeah. Fast ones is, but there's less fast, like in the movie, it wasn't like giant hordes. It really is, a uh, a really intelligent way of the workaround of needing a ton of extras in your movie. Yeah. Because one is so fast and scary enough yeah. than a giant horde of them. Let's see. Yeah, let's pull that up. I'm curious now. Some zombie movies. I feel like there's one I'm really going to kick myself in the dick yeah, for. Of course. I don't know shit, man. But also horror movies are like really not my... Um... Favorite genre, or and they just like they're, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know that. Yeah, there's like some like horror heads that are like, what the fuck? What yeah, about yeah, yeah. that uh, German Nazi zombie movie? Like, I didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got the top, the twenty best zombie movies. Wow. Planet Terror. That was the Nazi um, one. No, Planet Terror was the Robert Rodriguez. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Grindhouse. Yeah, the Grindhouse. Yeah. No, Dead Snow is the Nazi one. Uh-huh. Which was like, I saw that. Paranorman? I didn't see that. That's like a kid's movie. The Girl with All the Gifts. I don't know that. Yeah, this is like, this is immediately is like, I guess they're going from 20 to 1. So, mm. but it's like, okay, this is a lot of this. It's like, should have heard of it. gets a top five. Zombie Flesh Eaters. What? I don't know. Wreck 2. World War Z. I didn't like that one yeah. very much. Zombie Land. Oh, Zombie Land's cute, but I wouldn't even put it in the top ten. No, that's that's number thirteen on this list. Okay. Uh, Dawn of the Dead remake. I watched the the, the sequel of uh, Zombie Land actually. You would or you I did? Would, I would. I haven't seen. Yeah. One cut of the dead. That's like a Asian movie. I don't know. 
Return of the Living I don't know. I just don't want to say. It. I don't want to be like it's a Japanese one. This one be like it's it's Korean. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, Return of the Living Dead. Sure. Oh, Reanimator. That's a big one for me. I've never seen it. It's really good. I've never seen it. I saw it at. Um, I saw it not for the first time, but the last time I saw it was at. Um, fuck. What's that fucking bar with the movie theater in it? Oh, Videology? No, no, no. In Bushwick. Oh, oh, um... Oh my god, what's it called? Holy shit. Yeah, fuck. No, on the other side of, of Pine Box. Mm -hmm. So that place. Yeah, that place. What the fuck? I haven't walked by in yeah. six months, so I can't remember again. Yeah, I went there with some... I went there on a date. Nice. And she really didn't like it. Uh, Last time I went on a date, we were there, and the woman who was on a date next to me got mad. Because I looked at my phone because I thought you were texting me. Yeah. And I'm like, I gotta text Mike back. I gotta text Mike back. And she's like, ugh. And I'm like, do you have a problem? <laughs> and she goes, no. But I just looked at her boyfriend and I'm like, hi, how What's are up? you? It's like, it's, a, it's an old, it's a 1940s Hitchcock movie, honey. Like, yeah. relax. It costs $3 to get in. So sorry. You know, we're basically in a public toilet where you get to watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Wreck. You ever see that movie? No. That's Wreck like, Ralph? No, not Wreck the Ralph. Wreck is like a uh, found footage oh. movie. It's fine. Dude, we got footage alone. Oh, Brain Dead is. Um... What's up? What's it also called? It's that Peter Jackson movie. Bad Taste? I don't know. It's good. It's fun. It's not in my top five, but. Okay. Yeah. I like Peter Jackson. He's fucking good. Yeah. Night of the Living Dead. Train to Busan. I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't see that either. That one I heard is good. Shaun of the Dead. Shawnee. 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, Day of the Dead. It's the... What's the Day of the Dead? So it's Night of the Living Dead, Dawn Night of the Dead, Dead. Day, Day of the, the Dead. Dead. Ah, interesting. And then Dawn of the Dead's number one on this list. Brunch of the Dead. Yeah, I'll go Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. I never saw Day of the Dead. Um... Shaun of the Dead, 28 Days Later, and then probably Reanimator. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, 20 Days Later, fun one. Check it out. Uh, yeah, Reanimator's about like a mad scientist who is making like a drug in his apartment to bring people back to life. Oh. But he like kills his roommate's cat to like do it and oh. shit like that. Like it's it's fun. It's fun. Oh, that's like, that sounds it's fun. Cool. It's like a goofy, you know, like not Pretty low budget, but like mm -hmm. decent. Okay. Um, and then this morning or afternoon, uh, we sat down and watched Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Well, you sat down and watched it. I sat down and watched it. I walked it. out of my room and it was on. Well, you walk out, you like walk out like uh, two minutes after it started. Mm -hmm. um, it's so funny. Yeah, it's very The movie's so funny. There's like a lot of jokes. There's in a it. lot of jokes in it, and Jason Siegel's so good in it. Yeah. Um, Everyone like kind of nails their part. I don't love uh, a couple characters. I just feel like they're a little too turned on, like a little too much. But it's the still, bartender guy. The bartender guy, I get, I, I get a little annoyed with him on some of his reads. Yeah. Um. But he makes it up with that line of like, nobody wants to snorkel with me. Yeah. That line he does well, but it's it's so funny. There's just yeah. so many. Yeah. Bartender funny. guy is like it's fine. Yeah. They're just like fuck. We we need a black guy. We need a black guy. And they're like, well, all right, we'll get one. They're like, come on, can you just take a couple more? And they're like, no. No. We'll like, have right. one black person in the movie. That's what we're allowed. Um, we'll have a lot of Hawaiian people in the movie. A lot of Hawaiian people were in Hawaii. They're like, all right, kind of. No Koenigs in Hawaii, but yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, Bill Hader is very good. He's great. He's so funny. I like that at the end when they have like the puppet show, they let him like yeah have a part. Yeah, and like you're like, oh yeah, you can like, like he's not just like. I feel like Bill Hader, unfortunately, in most of his movie roles, other than Super Bad, he had to kind of be like. No, I guess I guess in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, he's like funny, mm -hmm. but he's still kind of like the straight man. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Straight laced, and then he, he was in what was that? Trainwreck. Trainwreck. And he was like no personality at all. Yeah, it really. Yeah. Didn't get to that, weird having this like weapon and not using it. That was the thing with both of the the Amy Schumer movies. Yeah. Trainwreck and, and I Feel Pretty. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I saw I Feel Pretty by myself mm -hmm. at the Union Square mm -hmm. uh, movie theater, movie theater yeah, is that AMC? on Movie Pass. I think it's an AMC. Beautiful. Or is it a Regal? Regal. It's a Regal. That's a Regal. 
that's a William Regal. Um, I saw it by myself. It was me and a woman who was by herself. Beautiful. And we did not talk. <laughs> and you guys could scoot one? No, she sat. Closer. She sat a couple rows in front of me. Mm. But on the same side of the theater as me, which I thought was weird because there's a divider in the middle. No, no, no yeah, you would. I'd sit as far away from somebody as possible, but that's just me. I would sit, like, if, so say this is the divider mm -hmm. and you're sitting in this seat in this row. I would sit in this one. That's my. Okay. So, how are you? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> It's a good movie, right? Starburst Unwrapped Favorite? Would you like a Favorite? Would, like <laughs> would you like a Starburst Unwrapped Favorite? I haven't touched any of them, so you can touch. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't done the thing where you pour them into your popcorn, because I feel like that's a chocolate thing. That's a chocolate thing. thing. When they're fruity yeah. thing, but I think I... I think I might try. I think I she gets a rose. <laughs> I might try. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so yeah, it was Bill Hader and Rory Scovel, and they're both kind of just like the funniest people alive. Yeah, but they, but they in the movies they just were like guys. Yeah, where it's like, oh, this could have been like um, Chris Pine or like some like some guy who could yeah, just had yeah. to be there and read his lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you have to get somebody who's so who's so funny to kind of uh, neuter, neuter that? Yeah, look at that. Um, but forgetting Star Marshalls is fun. You haven't seen it. I mean, you should check it out. It's on yeah. Hulu. Fun. Funny. You see hog. You get to see... You see tits. You um, mostly see penis, though. Yeah. What tits do you see? Other you see the fake tits. Yeah, the the whoever's body Mila Kunis' head is photoshopped on. Exactly. They, you know somebody... He's like, uh, they're brags. Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen Marshall? They're like, yeah, I didn't... You know where Mila Kunis is topless? The picture? And they go, yeah, it's, like, it's my girlfriend's body. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> can you prove it? If, the, here's a picture. You're like, oh, you can. Yeah, okay. She doesn't show people your girlfriend's tits. <laughs> no, she won't. Oh, we're not dating anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. When I say girlfriend, it's, uh, it's more of a uh, more of a casual thing. I, can't, I, get, I get together when she feels like she has the time. Yeah, like, She's around doing her topless model thing. She loves to do it. She loves to be a topless model in movies with Mila Kunis's the body double face. You ever watch those weird porns where they put like a famous person's face? I've seen pictures. I never watched. Yeah, it's like it's so weird. Yeah, I've never watched it. Where it'll be like if you're on like a pornography hub, mm -hmm. where you're like, um, it's not like. So like a preview of the video will start playing on the phone. Yeah. Like before you even click, like if it, you're just on the front page and it's like there, mm -hmm. it's like almost like a GIF. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh. I feel like it's it, it hits that same part of my brain where it's just like like when um, someone's trying to pull a trick on you. And yeah. I get turned off that same way. It's like I'm not a fucking idiot. Yeah. So then oh. Gomez wouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't do this. This is like this isn't like her. Ariana Grande would not have sex, and the body is lighter than her face. I, I'm not an idiot. Well. Internet, pornography. I'm not in terms of who would do porn. No. In other ways, yeah, but not. Yeah. If a, a, a person this famous did porn, we would all know. We'd all know. It'd be a front page. And it wouldn't be free. We don't have to pay money to see it. Yeah. Have you ever watched any famous person? I know you joke about the Pam and Tommy Lee sex tape, but you've actually seen it. Have you ever watched any like famous persons? I've seen clips of the Paris one, like yeah. like like, thir like maybe thirty seconds, yeah. if that. And I've seen clips of the uh, Kim Kardashian one. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. I would watch them. I just didn't. I mean, yeah. I'm not. Eh, would I watch it at this point? I don't know. Yeah, it's also that's like, the thing. Is like, oh, they didn't want this out. I feel bad. About yeah. This. Also, it's mostly like. I watch porn to jack off. Yeah, I'm not watching porn to be like, oh, they're just like us. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Also, I'm not sexually attracted to Paris Hilton at all. Uh, mm, yeah, uh, I could jack off to Kim Kardashian, I guess. Um, I'm sexually attracted to Ray J. Oh, Ray J's in it. Yeah, fantastic. He's the guy. Oh, hog. The 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 role of man. It was played by Ray J. Beautiful, Ray J. Number one. I watched a couple episodes of Moesha recently. Yeah. Weird show. Yeah. It's weird. She's a bitch. She's rude to all of her friends. Moisha sucks. Okay. Everyone around her is kind of cool and funny. Okay. 
Um, she's rude. Also, the weirdest, I'll say it right now, the strangest B-roll cuts oh, I've okay. ever seen, where it's like, they'll be in school, and they'll be like, well, I guess what class is good, and then it cuts, and it's like, slow down version of like a, 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 a woman just putting gas in her car, and then it cuts, and then just, they're in a home, and like, wait, what was that lady? Who was that? There's one literally of a boy, like a, like, a, like a teenage boy, like it cuts where they're like, she's at like a coffee shop. Yeah. And it cuts. I know the and it's shop. nighttime. And it's like weird slim of a guy, like a boy carrying a big suitcase down a, like a sidewalk. And you're like, who is that? Where are they going? <laughs> it's are... so confusing. I wish someone would edit them all together. Moish is now on Netflix. Check it out. It's, it's on been... Netflix now? Yeah. It's so weird. <clears throat> but she sucks. I'm not gonna watch that. It's very I don't clueless. Think watch that. Yeah, no. It's very much like clueless, but she's unlikable. From the four episodes I watched. Maybe her character changes. I'm open I'm open to the idea of her character. I'm not saying that always gonna be she's a, a fucking rude person who thinks everything is about her and and is like kind of selfish and is a bad friend. She's a bad friend. I mean her friend, the one the one who runs a coffee shop. Has a date with Deion Sanders, and she keeps like talking. Prime time. Prime time is in it. He's in it. I mean, for an episode, he yeah. looks fantastic. Fantastic. Prime time. Yeah. Now an employee of uh, Barstool Network. Barstool Sports. Our friends at Barstool. Our <laughs> friends at Barstool Sports. If you'd like to sign us, we're still free agents. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Daddy's gonna uh, sit down. We're not gonna find a podcast still. But um, she has a date with Deion Sanders, and he's like, "Yeah, let's go." And she's like, "I got a bunch of questions." I'm like. Let your friend get pounded up by Neil Sanders. She's about to get fucking prime time. God, she's about to get baseball. She's about to, she's about, she, he, she's about to become a two sport, two sport athlete, dick and balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fun. Um, but please, please watch an episode of Moesha and tell me if you think I'm wrong. I'm I really can't curious. believe that. That's like a prank. What? The Tell editing, me. the editing of It's insane. Editing it really, like, I'm gonna pull it up just so you can see, because it's really like, I'm like, am huh. I on ecstasy right now? What the fuck kind yeah, of editing and none of these, and you're, like, you're looking at it, and you're like, and none of these people are characters. <laughs> none of them are characters. It doesn't tell you who they are, where they're going. It's, well, hey, excuse me, young boy, why do you have a big suitcase? Where are you going with the suitcase? It's so strange. I'm gonna grab it. You're gonna grab it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that. I thought you meant you were gonna go grab Moesha. Okay, <laughs> and I mean, I Brandy has like a new music video or something out, and I saw the preview for it. Uh -huh. and by that I mean I saw the still on on YouTube. <laughs> oh, YouTube. Brandy looks fucking good. Still. Oh no, shit, really? I was yeah. never attracted to her. Dude, she looks good now. Brandy felt like Clueless and Blossom put together. Uh huh. Yeah, and that's kind of that makes sense to me. Yeah, they're uh, like, how about this for black girls? Yeah, and they're like, yeah. And the stepmom is hot as shit. Got a hot stepmommy. The stepmom is very fit. Um, I was more of a sister sister guy. Yes, here's the, the point I was I forgot to make. A lot of those that era sitcom show have a neighbor boy who's very hungry. <laughs> yes, a yes. neighbor boy who just got to get a meal. I away. need a sandwich. It's who's like, not feeding? Children. Why are your parents so bad to you? Yeah. Urkel. Hakim is the guy Moesha. I'm Moesha. Very hungry boy. <clears throat> Eats a lot of the meals and the dad's always like, I've got to feed you again. That yeah. was a, a huge trope in sitcoms in the 90s. Having to feed a, a boy. Uh, feed a neighborhood boy. Yeah. Roger was Roger sister, was sister. a sister, yeah. Roger. Who else? Yeah. I mean, Cody and in Go home, step. Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Cody lived outside. Yeah, but he lived outside. So outside he was a life. member of the family to an extent. To an extent. Um, you ever, think. Were you ever a, a character like that? Was in I ever? Someone's life. Oh, there was two brothers who lived down the street from me. I wouldn't ever really eat at their house, but I was just kind of always there. Yeah, I feel like I was at some point. And people were just like, "Well, there's like literally became like a thing." Was like, "Oh, Mike's." Sleeping on the couch for some reason. <laughs> like, it's the day, and yeah. he lives, conservatively, 12 houses away. <laughs> yeah, I feel like one of my friends had um, a N64 before anybody else. So oh, I'd yeah. be there a lot. Um, who, I feel like there's someone that, like, 
This is my parents the... bought snacks. My parents bought snacks. Okay, yeah. Here's the thing. So I had a pool at my house. Wow. And the pool was so bad. No. Like very rarely were my friends like, let's all go into the four foot above ground pool together. <laughs> yeah, because here's what above ground pools rob you of. The jumping in. The jumping and the diving. You can jump off the ladder, but your dad will go, what the fuck? Because it's floppy and, and they make it out of yeah. the slickest material on yeah. earth. Yeah, and if you get hurt and then you're just jumping into something that's less tall than you are. Less tall than you are. So you kind of have to cannonball. Got to cannonball. Then I get some water out on the side. Yeah. I remember one time someone had an above ground pool and we just kept jogging in a circle making a crazy whirlpool. Yeah, that's fun. That was pretty fun. That's and then the you let go and you stop doing anything and just fucking yeah. spins around like a yeah. toilet. Yeah. And then it's fun to do the whirlpool and then to stop and turn around. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, uh, you go, you're away, and you're like, resistance. Yeah. That's all fun. Those are fun above ground pool things. Yeah. Marco Polo you can play a little bit yeah, of. A little Marco Polo. Hmm. You can, um... Uh, foam noodle fighting? Yeah. Swim in it. Kind no, of. No. You can... No. Yeah. I want to say you can swim in it. You can... You can swim in it. Bounce around and you can kind of like lean on your back a little bit. You can't like... Do laps in it. It's not four foot long. I know, but how big could it possibly be? Six feet across? I would say it's probably like ten. Even then, I think it's like you get two paddles in, you're done. I think when you're a little kid, you're still getting paddles in. You're getting paddles in. Yeah, now I'm, I'm the, the, now I'm bigger than the pool. Now you're the biggest man I've ever seen in my life. Biggest man I've ever seen in the pool. All right, welcome to Hydrogen Corner. We have this week. A weird one. I've never seen it before. Have you seen this? Oh, I have, this is a conflict Just, of interest. I have a oh. 25% stake in the conflict. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we got Guru Organic Energy. Uh, it's non-GMO organic. Mm -hmm. um, we got a poem. We believe there's a smarter way to provide you with good energy to fulfill your greatest dreams and aspirations. Crafting Guru with natural organics. Natural organics is how we do it. Okay, interesting. Certified vegan, certified gluten-free. Distributed by Guru Beverages, uh, Union Street, San Francisco. I had, it, I had this in India once. You had this in India? Mm -hmm. That's great, man. One of my favorite robbers. There's Guru Light. How many sugars is it? Three grams of sugar per can. Interesting. Very low. I don't know what the flavor is. I'm going to guess right now. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Here's what I don't want to be organic. My energy drinks. Mm -hmm. My chemistry with a person. My chemistry with a person. I want that to be as I'm forced as possible. <laughs> hey, you like me? <laughs> All right. Hey, you like me? We're friends. It does smell very nice. Interesting. Well, this could be a one where you like it and I don't. Huh? I don't know what that is. It's guru light. Um, what an interesting flavor. It's so close to good. And the end is very like... Stevia. Ah, okay. Listen up, companies. Stevia sucks ass, and it's, it's bad. And it's expensive. That's, oh man. It all, it's so close to good to me. Because it tastes like it tastes the tea part of it that's good. It's like, oh, that's good. That's an actual tea. And there's like a weird, some fruit flavor. Lemon. Lemon, okay. Yeah. Green tea, monk fruit. Monk fruit. Guarana. Guarana. Ecaresha. It also tastes like a battery a little bit. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not refreshing. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> <coughs> what? I don't think it's good. <coughs> I'm trying to avoid the cut in my mouth. Oh. It's not refreshing. Um. I don't like this. No, I really don't like it. Two? It's not disgusting. No, yeah, I think it should be a little higher than two. 2.5? Yeah, 2 I think 2.5. Okay. Because that's disgusting, but I don't like it. I don't want to drink it. I don't even want to finish it. I don't want to see it ever again. <laughs> If I see it, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Yeah, I'm not finishing that because I have a, a white monster in the fridge I'm gonna drink later. I got a white monster inside of me. 
Uh, you, just said, you just said next to a white mom, too, mm -hmm. you fucking son of a bitch. I saw the can. <laughs> oh, I saw the can. It tastes like if you put a bunch of dimes inside of a, a Coke. No, it's Coke tastes good. A Diet Coke. Yeah, that's like, that's that tastes like... Well, when you have a glass of soda and a bunch of the water, a bunch of the ice out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. drinking it and you're like, ugh. Ugh, this is bad now, but why? Ugh. Do you have any questions? Oh yeah, I got a couple. Let's do that. Who are you? Get out of my house. Who are you? Okay, only a couple. I really want to know. Okay, this is a good question. Oh, all right. NASA offers you and Diego full space training and a spot on the next Mars mission. No. Do you go? No. You don't go? Absolutely not. Why not? It's terrifying. What's more terrifying than life? Going to Mars. I'm going. Here's the thing. Um, you're not going to be able to come back. Yeah. So, it's going to be awful, awful death. Um, it's... What's a good death? You get hit by a car and you just don't see it and it's done. Mm. Well, the, 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 the anticipation of death is in a, a, a feeling that is... Immeasurably horrid. I'm anticipating it right now. Well, congratulations. Dr um, so like it's gonna I be like a it. combination of either starvation to death, or uh, no, it's not. You're going. You're not going to Mars, and you're just like dropped off there. Oh, we're just gonna just, like go around it. It's like a. It's like a mission to Mars, like a fucking like the guys went to the moon and they came back. Yeah, you're saying, well, we've done that. We haven't done that, so I'm like, just, <laughs> you <laughs> motherfucker. It's <laughs> um, the same shit. So we'll just go touch Go Mars, to Mars. Take a pic. Take a pic, get some dirt. Here's one. Try to find some water, the Martian. I'd pull your helmet off. Uh, you fart into the, the, the line that mm -hmm. doesn't exist. Um, do, are we conscious about the flight? Or is it one of those things where like, this is so long, you're going to pass out? I don't know. If it's a situation where you pass out, that's what I'm talking about. Then no, 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 we're talking. I don't think you have to be awake the whole time, but I think you have to be awake for some of it, because I think it's like days and weeks long. I don't want to go to space. I don't want to go to space. I think it's terrifying. Wow. It's... You have to train, though. You love training. I love training. I love being weighed and measured and tested, mm -hmm. and I, I love them charting my growth. Mm -hmm. I love blowing into that tube with the tent with the, the ping pong ball. But if ball. you don't go to Mars, you don't get to do. You don't get to train. I know that, and that's how much I don't want to go to Mars. Interesting. <clears throat> Anti Mars. And person. I hate training, but I want to go to Mars. Why do you want to go to Mars? It's gotta be better than here. Why do you say that? This is different. It's different. It is different, but why are you saying it's better? It's different. It's better. It's not true. No, that's true. Is it? Yeah. Oh shit! All right. Let's go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. Can we do our podcast on Mars? Oh! Hey, how you doing? That'd be something to talk about, finally. Yeah. Hey, look at us. Red. Red planet. Red. What do you think the energy drinks are like on Mars? Bad. What do you think the NASA energy drinks are like? Okay, now we're talking. NASA got energy interesting... drinks. We do a podcast on the space station. We're floating. Floating? Hey, look at me floating around. Look at me floating around, I've having a good time. I seem to have watched uh, 19 movies today mm -hmm. because one day here is nine days long. Oh, right, right, right. It'd be kind of like Interstellar when we come back and my, uh, my girlfriend's now of age. Yeah, you're, if we went to Mars and came back, your girlfriend would be old enough for you to be her boyfriend. Beautiful. <laughs> and I think it's nice because Diego Lopez is a pedophile. <laughs> Once um, again, I reiterate, oh, on, God. Another, on another episode of the podcast, um, you're a pedophile. I don't, are we going to get paid for it? You definitely get paid for it. That's different. That's different. I'm doing it for money right now. Yeah. Does it look okay? It looks great. You, um, get paid, you get paid to be an astronaut, right? No. No? It's for the honor of the country. It's for the love of the game? It, yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's not for money. It's not. Fuck that. Yeah. Can I at least get a cool nickname like Buzz? A what? A cool nickname like Buzz? Zub? No, I don't want just buzz backwards. Mm. I want to be uh, crank of Brucey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm crank of Brucey and I'm going to Mars. Like, okay, buddy. Cool. Right. 
What's up? I'm I'm Fist Michael. <laughs> hey, I'm Gun. <laughs> Gun of Brucey. Hi, I'm Knife Mi Mike. <laughs> I'm Mike the Knife. <laughs> and I'm going to Mars to stab a man. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> just pay it over. There's only one other guy. Oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> What's the other question? Uh, that's fun. So you say no to Mars. No to Mars. I say yes to Mars. Not a fucking chance. It's so funny that I say yes to Mars, but no to hanging out with my friends when they ask me. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, hey, we're going to go do this thing. I'm like, no. It's like a whole thing. There's going to be people there. Yeah. That's, That's the thing about Mars. People. There's no people on Mars. That we know of. Have you ever seen the movie Mars or Mission to Mars? I've seen Mars Attacks. That's great. That's just <laughs> as good. <laughs> Yeah, good enough, you get it. I've heard the band 30 Seconds to Mars. Have you? I'm sure I've heard them. Yeah, good point. I don't, I haven't listened. actively listened yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah. Listen, I've heard my girlfriend talk. 30 <laughs> Seconds to Mars. Yeah, like, what do you mean 30 Seconds to Mars? Hey, pardon me. Hey, Joker, Mr. Joker, come here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to DM Jared Leto right now and ask him what he meant. Could you read the question first so I can start thinking about that? Nope, I'm already on Jared Leto's Instagram. <laughs> yep, he is. Are his DMs open? Yes, they are. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> hey, man. When you said... 30 seconds to Mars... What did that even mean? Beautiful. You get a response right away. It'd be so funny if I got one right away. And he's just looking at his phone. He's like, what? Micah Brucey <laughs> DM'd me? I love a little time with Micah Brucey and the other guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's that big of a fan of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just does it. He refuses to learn my name. Yeah. But he loves it. Loves it. Oh, I can't wait to watch another movie. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I need to shower really badly. Yeah, take a shower. I'd love to shower and then watch another movie. It's... A little ugly outside, it's and I don't feel like doing movie anything. Clock. It's movie temperature. Um, oh, other question. Yeah, other question. Sorry. Fuck! I spent too much time DMing Jared Leto. God damn it! You had to do it though. Yeah. Uh, what food slash groceries do you always have in the pantry slash fridge? Oh jeez. Me nothing. Mike famously, for some I don't reason, always never has a... nothing. I always, yeah, because I never go in with a plan. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, uh, and then I just think of foods I've eaten before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I buy them. And you get like I, parts of meals. I get parts can't of, rearrange together. No, I get very specific things that all go together, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, and then I realize I don't want to cook. That's so yeah, that's the problem. So I don't have anything in between. I don't have anything in between chips and a full blown meal. Right. And I'm just like, uh, I just get mad. You get mad because uh, why not? Yeah. I'm an American man. Why not? I'm. A, I'm allowed that's to That's the mad. part of being an American man. You have to be mad. At. It's fun to be mad. I always have um, Beyond Burgers. Mm-hmm. That's staple. Um, I always have uh, that Irish brand's apple oatmeal. Yeah. I always have... McOatmeals. McOatmeals. McOatmeal Farms. Cut. Um, what else do I always have? Oh, the blueberries, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, what's a fun thing? What's a fun thing? I just got, like, a lot of cans of beans. I got a lot of cans of beans. And really, for, like, three months, I ate beans every single day. Yeah. Beans, a toasty beans. Yeah, I ate beans and toast every single day, and then I stopped. And now I don't want to look at beans anymore. Yeah, they go through phases. I don't get as bored with food as quickly as you do. Yeah, you have that thing. I have a thing where I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, like, as long as it stays sheets, I'm like, yeah, great, fucking awesome. Um, yeah, and I have very few joys in life. Yeah, pickles are certain. There's a. Uh, what the fuck is the name of the pickle company? I, like? I don't know. Man, there's you a pickle like them. I really like them. They're really good. I don't know. I'll find them later, but. Uh, Man, imagine. <laughs> what? Just walking in. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what are the pickles that I had like? <laughs> People listen to stupid shit. They don't. <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, that's the rub. That's the rub. Yeah, that's about it. Those things. Oh, uh, cold brew. I always have cold brew. 
Uh, I'm, Macomb, I'm, I'm, uh, Brazilian black cold brew is the greatest I don't beverage ever, in the world to me. I don't ever have anything in the house. And I suffer for it. Yeah, you get mad. You just order a whole pizza. Yeah, and then I don't even want it. And I just... But then when you go back to the salad thing, when they start like carrot, keeping things in the house and make salads with, that makes it I just have to go to the grocery store. Yeah, I haven't been to the grocery store in like three weeks, probably. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Is there another question? No, that's the only questions I got. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Um. No, not really. Wow, man. What kind of fucking friendship is this? You don't have any questions for me. Oh, give me a second. All right, hold on, hold on. I got, uh, I got a question for you. No, that's that's your fucking rude. Problem. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a <laughs> no, your question of rude. It's not rude to ask someone. You curse. You can't. It's difficult to curse in a question and not be considered rude. Mm. Unless you're complimenting. That's not a question. And that's not a question. Why you like, how the fuck did you get so handsome? Why are you so fucking cool? Yeah, see, that's like disingenuous. You don't mean that. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people mean that question. People who have said it possibly mean it. Mm, not to you. No, 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 no. no. But yeah, the qu I think the question is... When I say, what's your fucking problem? I mean, like... Are you okay? <laughs> oh, that's how you say that's it? What I mean. You, like, aggressively say you're okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, are you alright? Yeah. What's your fucking problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, hey, come here. Yeah. Do you need an event? Do you come need an on. event on your boy? Literally, was it yesterday? Will walked into the living room and he was smiling really big. I was like, fucking smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. That's not the way to ask that. That's one. not the way to ask your friend how they're doing. I think Chuck's watching the podcast now. Chuck loves it. Great, Chuck. He's like, go get him, Dad. I don't want to get them. Watched the fights last night. Watched the fights last night. That was fun. What did you think about that? None of them were that exciting. Yeah, I agree. They were like fine. They're fine. A lot of them were just like, uh, yeah, it was a lot of them were like fights that either went to decision and you're like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Or when they didn't go to decision, you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cheeto beating Sean O'Malley, you were like, that's cool because I wanted to see Sean O'Malley lose, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to see him lose like that. Right. Like, where oh. he like kind of rolled and broke his own ankle. Mm -hmm. But also, Cheeto said about him because he. Yeah, I saw some footage today. Checked a kick. No, Cheeto kicked him and like landed like weird on on Sean's knee, and the second Sean to put it weight on it, like it rolled. So like. Oh. Okay. So I, I think the the messed up knee made his foot roll weird. Okay. Um, yeah, like he was trying to put like weight on it and it just made it roll forward because yeah. he couldn't yeah okay um so that makes so, it a little more yeah we just didn't see it happen mm -hmm. and then like dc losing Ugh, yeah it was a bummer one because i just i wanted him to win because i like him so much and two now that you real like he re he got poked in the eye and his eye is fucked up mm -hmm. and the referee didn't see it yeah it's hard it's a fucking hard job to see everything like that i do it from home you do it from home, and, it's, and but that's the weird thing about you. You can do anything you want, mm -hmm. but you don't do anything. No. And you, d you dismiss everyone who does. I don't dismiss everyone. You dismiss most people. Yeah. Because you could do a better job. Of course I could. And that's, what, uh, that's the conundrum that is the, like a Brucey story. I could, do it. I could do anything, I just don't want to. Yeah. I could be the best UFC referee ever. And how, how much training would you need? Six to eight weeks. Interesting. The perfect amount of time. The perfect amount of time. I could do anything I want mm -hmm. in six to eight weeks. But you have to want it. But I have to want it. And have you wanted anything? I want for nothing. I am the satisfied man. Yeah. I'm the satisfied the man. The satisfied man. I definitely didn't buy a bunch of shirts on eBay this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely didn't uh, walk around and go, oh, well, that'd be nice to have in home. Yeah. And by a bunch, I mean, what's a bunch of shirts? Four? I think about three. Okay, you look at that, you're in the clear. Look at that. You got some shirts. I got some shirts, I got a few shirts. A few shirts? I got a few shirts and they're button-up shirts. Yeah. To wear. Yeah. 
A shirt, two shirts, a few shirts, some shirts, a bunch of shirts. shirts. Yeah, I definitely get a bunch of shirts. Yeah. I got a few shirts. Yeah, I got a few shirts. Say higher pitch. Yeah, I got a few shirts. Yeah, it's Jay Leno getting a few shirts. <laughs> you guys know this? You guys hear about this? I got a few shirts. <laughs> Okay, we got it. <laughs> I bought no. I bought the shirt. I bought the shirt. So I hate that he says that. It's like who's you, paying him to watch? If you did, how much money you making? He would be on the list of most successful stand-up comedians of all time. Yeah, and just in terms of stand-up numbers. Yeah, you're making you're you're, you're buying this many cars on your stand-up money, which you do when and on the never weekends. Never had a special. Never had a special out. What do you perform? I mean, see, he's like a casino guy, probably. Uh, I mean, is it just just only in Vegas? I he's lying, right? He has to be lying. Yeah, he's lying. I've never touched my Tonight Show money. His accountant's is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell you, I'll tell you who has Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam has touched it. Glasses lowered. Wink, wink. How far are we? Hi, how you doing? I'm, it's me, Jay Jay Danzig. Jay Danzig. <laughs> You guys, you, you guys hear about this? That's Halloween. You hear about this? My mother. <laughs> Jaywalking to my mother's house. You guys. I don't know if other songs. No, that's a Danzig song. Oh, okay. I guess, the, yeah, I was. I just said Jay Danzig. I didn't say Jay Misfits, but I'm doing the Misfits hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, because he doesn't do that all the time. No, there's a Misfits thing. The Devil Lock. That was called? Mm-hmm. That's like a wrestling term. No, it's not. I mean, it, 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 the word lock is in it, and there's a... There's dreadlock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's called a dreadlock when you do a... Uh, that's that's when, I, when I right, hug my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. The dreadlock. Yeah, because you dread it. I dread it because it's a... Judge nice. dreadlock. Because it's a woman. It's, it's a, not a, a Rastafarian cop in the future. <laughs> Uh, I am above the. I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. So you're doing Jamaican Robocop? <laughs> no, Jamaican Judge Dredd. Yeah, Jamaican Judge Dredd. Judge Dreadlock. Judge Dreadlock. Yeah. And I'm doing Jay Danzig. Jay Danzig. He's Jay Leno Danzig. Uh, you guys hear about this Kennedy's bullet ridden body in the street? <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear about this? Yeah, that's fun. Rob Schneider's in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. I didn't see the fucking movie. I'm judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's fun. That's I've never seen. I've never seen Dread. Have you seen it? You seen it? You seen it? You seen this? Have you seen it? You seen this? I don't know. <clears throat> Fuck it. I think I've seen Judge. No demolition man. I'll tell you that. You, but you don't know. You haven't seen it. You know what? You're right. I, I bet you... Okay, here's what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm here. I'm listening. I bet you Judge Dredd is better than Demolition Man. Whoa. But you have you have more of a, uh emotional connection to Demolition Man. Fair, because I saw it when I was younger. Because you saw it when you were young. So if you saw Judge Dredd now, you would see it through your now lens. And you would like it less. But I bet you... I think Judge Dredd is a better movie than Demolition Man. And why do you say that? I just people talk about it more. Okay, that's why. All right. Yeah. You know what we should see? We should see if Siskel, Siskel and Eber. That's we should find a clip Judge on that. Dredd Judge and, yeah. and Demolition Man. Because Siskel will be like. I think you're the only person that talks about Demolition Man. To me. No, no, I see it on to Twitter. To me. To you, yes, yes. On Twitter, I see people talking. So people talk about a lot of stuff on Twitter that I hate. Oh, wow, yeah, that's true. But, people uh, talk about J.K. Rowling all the time, and I hate dude, that. Dude, oh my god, shut up with it. Fucking. She sucks. I don't know what you're surprised. I don't know what you want me to do. The books suck. It's a stupid fucking movie. It gives a shit about a little boy. Mm -hmm. It's so stupid. I can't. I care if it was a little girl. Yeah, I care if it was a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, J.K. Rowling. What a weird thing to be trans and be like, or transphobic and be like, no, but wizards. Yeah. Dumb bitch. Mm -hmm. So we gotta look up Cisco and Ebert. Yeah. Let's it, do that. Let's do Cisco and Ebert. Just watch Cisco. If you're sad. Watch some Cisco and Ebert clips. It's fucking great. It's really fun. I love when they argue. They really fucking lay into they each other. They really are nice to each other They're sometimes. not nice. I don't know. I don't think they're friends. I don't think they're friends. I think they're <clears throat> colleagues. Colleagues, yeah. 
Because you know, like, like, you're a real fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, Gene. shit, Skull. Yeah. So you go, go on another date with Oprah. And um, uh, the thin guy is kind of like, well, I thought that movie was bad. And, it's like, and the other guy, the fat guy would be like, I think you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Because it's kind of like our relationship, but kind of not. Yeah. Because the thin guy is always cranky in that one, it seems. Agreed. Where here is the envious. In, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We're both thin guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're both the same exact body type. Uh, so it's rude to. So it's weird to think of others. It's weird to say it differently. Don't say it differently. That's rude. I'm going to try and eat four meals. No, five meals today. That's great. You want to go eat one right now? Yeah. Let's end the podcast. Bye. Bye. <laughs>